what, what have you seen out of those guys after they've now kind of uh, acclimated to the heat some and now added pads? They're starting to pick up some now in the intensity? Well, by and large, the morale is, is, is really high. Um, they're delivering on what we're asking them to do. Um, there's some things and some areas that we've got to improve on, but they're, they're learning how to practice. So, you know, these last two days have been thud tempo, so our defense is learning the opportunities to, to, to execute the proper technique and thud. And it was good to see them get better at that today than they were yesterday. Um, our effort and our change of direction uh, to the ball got better today, uh, offensively and defensively. Uh, we just need to continue to develop in those areas, but uh, you know, extremely encouraged by what we're seeing. Like I said, the kids are developing, I mean, and then they're and they're delivering on what we're asking. As far as health, obviously, I think it's still early on, but so far, uh, knock on wood, everything's been good on health. Yeah, we've had, uh, you know, we've we've continued to pound it with our team. There's no getting out of Texas, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're not going to Minnesota for spring fall camp. Uh, we're going to deal with heat. We're going to deal with it during the season. We're going to deal with it during games. So we got to learn how to properly hydrate ourselves. We've built in a lot of time for our players outside of meetings and lifts and practices to, to get the proper nutrition and hydration and sleep. And so it's, uh, it's, it's up to the position coaches to make sure that 19, 20-year-olds take advantage of that. And also it's personal responsibility of their teammates. For the freshmen, is there a learning curve a little bit? Mm -hmm. They have to learn some from the older guys how to properly take care of themselves in between so they have that stamina Absolutely. to go. Yeah, I mean, all the, all the great parents that we recruited aren't there to take care of them anymore. So they've, they've got to learn how to take care of themselves. And that's, that's the thing. As a position coach, you take on that responsibility. It's, it's fun on signing day. You know, to say you sign this kid, but you've got to really work hard to develop these young men each and every day on how they go to sleep. That's the biggest thing. Go to bed. Kids in college don't go to bed early enough. Go to bed, wake up, start hydrating. When you have you know time off of your feet, it's 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 not at the mall, it's not with your girlfriend. I mean, there's none of that silly stuff going on right. in fall camp, but it's using those opportunities and not going from dorm room to dorm room and getting off your feet, elevating, and getting ready for the next practice. With the receivers group, obviously a lot of young guys in there as well as some some older. Uh, what's it like for these young guys that are coming in? They have maybe some of the speed you guys are looking for, but they also have to be able to prove to do it on the sure. field. Well, you know, for, uh, for the most part, the, the effort is really good. Okay. You know, and I've watched Henry and, and Peyton and Ja'Cory and Jalon uh, all at wide out, and, the, and their effort's really good. Their attention to detail needs to continue to improve. Uh, when they have made plays and have the ball in their hands, they've shown why we've recruited them. Uh, they just need to continue to work for consistency and uh, taking care of the ball, and then we'll see when the pads come on and people start tackling and show up when that happens. With Bryson specifically, uh, you mentioned, uh, we've talked before already about the, the pack. he's got quarterback packages, receiver packages. Yes, During a regular practice, just for understanding's sake, does he? who does he hang with the quarterbacks for the most part? And then when you guys are running team and it's his package, he goes on over. Or, you know, where does he stand around that, and where does he learn the most from during the practice? Well, he's taught he's taught from Coach Browse. Okay. Coach Browse has him in his meeting room, and he okay. teaches him not only his quarterback packages, but can teach from that quarterback position what he needs to do as a wide receiver, very similar to what we did with Derek and Greg. Okay. Um, so he's 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 learning from the best. Um, so he's getting both of those taught to him in the meeting room, and then when he comes out, we have different series. If Derek is with the ones at quarterback. Uh, we may not have anything at that particular set of plays where Bryson is playing wide receiver, so he'll go with the twos or the threes at quarterback. Right. And we may have some packages where we want him to go with the air as a wide receiver. So in that first set of plays with the ones, he'll play some wide receiver along with uh, along with the Eric playing quarterback. Gotcha.